Hello again YouTube, it's John here again from Less Pests and today we've got an unboxing of an exciting new thermal product, the Pulsar Axion XQ38. I'm hoping this uh, is a bit of a game changer for my hunting, it mightn't do anything for my missus but it should help me find the rabbits in the dark and maybe an odd fox too if I'm in luck. So with a nice uh, premium field box and a venture in the world of darkness, so let's jump on in and see what's in the box. So the box is made up of a little box with accessories. And of course the, the unit itself and it's in a nice black carry pouch. So you can see there's a belt strap on the side and a shoulder carry strap. So inside we've got a USB lead and the unit itself. There's a little battery compartment down the side and there's a screen wiping cloth. So this is all we have inside the box. We've got the Axion XQ38 thermal imager. We've got the APS5 rechargeable battery. We've got the battery pack charger. We've got two lock covers for the, the battery. And these just slide on to the end of the battery. And that's it ready to insert in the unit. We've got the battery pack charger. We've got the power adapter. We've got a USB type C cable, a carry case. We've got the hand strap, which is fitted to the unit. And we've got the quick user manual, the lens cleaning cloth and warranty sheet. And this is a little adapter for mounting the device on a tripod. So this adapter fits in to the front of the unit. You see if you pull this away there's a little threaded port that just simply screws in here and you could mount that on top of your trigger stick or whatever other tripod system that you would use. So if you have something like the Primus trigger stick you'll be able to put it on the top just by taking off the gun mount. So you just screw this off and if you notice here you've got two different threads. You've got the big quarter inch and the smaller one in below one. You fit your mount to the front and that's the thread hole at the bottom. You just Place that on. It's screwed up nice and tight. And there you have the mounted system. So just to talk a bit about the, the unit itself. So it's basically a 348 by 288 pixel thermal imaging sensor inside the unit. So that provides exceptional detection capabilities. So basically a, a human could be detected up to 1,350 meters away in complete darkness. So it's quite a powerful unit and it'd be interesting to see how it works uh, for the likes of smaller vermin and rabbits and the likes. So inside there's 16 gigabytes of internal memory. So you can save photos, you can save videos onto that internal memory. The unit itself is IPX7 waterproof rated for protection from heavy rain or snow. You can actually drop this in water up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes and it'll run flawlessly even after that. That's based on what Pulsar have advertised. Probably wouldn't recommend that at the same time. So you've got the little battery packs and each of these battery packs have a capacity of 4,900 milliamp hours. So that's enough to run for approximately six hours and that obviously just depends on how you're using it and your brightness settings and so on. The actual unit itself weighs about 350 grams and the, the battery would be about another 50 grams, so it's under half a kg. It's quite a solid feeling unit and hopefully does the job well. Taking a closer look at the unit, we can see you've got an eyepiece and this has diopter adjustment, so if you do need reading glasses or whatever, you can focus the screen by turning this eyepiece. Here we've got the down button, or it's also used as a record button, and the button beside that with the dots on top is a menu button. So at, in the dark, if you, you can actually feel, there's a tactile feel to these, you can actually work out which button that you're sitting on. And the power button here has a little depression in the middle. You can actually feel when you're turning it on or off. And uh, this is the up or the zoom button. So at the front then, you have a lens cap. So it covers it and keeps it clean, keeps it dust free and keeps the rain off if it's, if it's raining when you're not using it. So as I mentioned before, on the front you've got a tripod mount. You've got on the side, on the other side here, you've got a little USB-C port. So you can actually charge the unit through here, or you can connect a little power pack like the same as you would for a mobile phone to give you extra battery life. And on the front here, this also is turned for focus. And your minimum focal distance is three meters away. But if you're actually hunting, I'm sure it'll have run away if you're that close. <laughs> so it shouldn't be an issue, but it may be useful just for finding your uh, your kills if they're hard to see in the dark. So you can actually charge the battery in the unit through the USB-C port provided on the side or you can remove the battery from the unit by twisting a little cap on the back and pull it out. 
you can actually charge the unit then in the battery charging pack that's supplied with the unit. You can't really put it in wrong here. There's a key on the side which lets you put it in the correct way every time. And you'll see on the top, uh, charge status. I've got two little blue lights on there. That shows that my battery level is between 50 and 80%. So you charge that right up until there's four LEDs illuminated here and that would say that it's fully charged and can be disconnected from the charger. So on the device itself, in terms of the thermal performance, so you have eight different color palettes. So that means you can pick from eight different views. You can have like classic white hot mode or black hot. Um, which is often favoured for detecting wildlife at night. There's red monochrome, so if you have a bright backlight, it'll sort of blend that out a wee bit. You've got sepia, uh, and there's red hot rainbow and ultramarine colour temperatures also, and it's useful just to flick through those, and I'll give you a little demo of the different colours. In terms of zoom, you can control the zoom using the, this up and down button. So the zoom is variable from three and a half right away up to 14 times. And it is a digital zoom, so you may see some picture degradation as you increase the zoom up to 14. So inside the unit, you've got a screen there that you look at, which is 1024 by 768. And that's an AMOLED display. So it's nice and bright and crisp and gives you good colors. And it's also power efficient. You also have a stereometric range finder. So that's the ones where you set the little line above and below the rabbit, for example. And then it would tell you the distance based on the calculations inside the unit. So guys, it's going to be exciting to actually see how this performs uh, out in the wild and on my hunts. And I'll be adding in footage from this uh, into my videos. So I'm sure you'll look forward to seeing that, as I will myself. And um, so it should be, it's very nicely handheld and it'll be able to just put it up and scan around. So some, some of the gardens and things that I'm hunting in, there's a lot of shrubs and trees and different things. And it's quite hard to actually to spot your quarry because there's leaves and things in the way. So you mightn't get the eye shine or whatever you would normally look for with a LED torch or a normal night vision scope. So this is going to help me identify prey. So guys, that was another Les Pest video on the Pulsar Axion XQ38. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll be back soon with my next video.